drawing lines using intercept gradient method. So in this video, I want to go over the smart way of drawing lines from a given equation. So let's start with a simple equation. Y is equal to, say, 3 over 2x, say, minus 4. Now, there are two numbers that you can see here. One is this 3 over 2. The, the number that is multiplied to x or that sticks with x is called the gradient. So this is one thing that you need to identify. So let me first, okay, so let me write, okay, yeah, that's fine. So the gradient is 3 over 2. I'll explain what gradient means. And this negative 4 is your y-intercept your y-intercept. Okay, so y-intercept is where your graph cuts the y-axis. So the first thing that we need to do is identify the y-intercept. So let me write it again. So y-intercept. Intercept means where your y-intercept is where your graph cuts your y-axis. So here is negative 4 means your graph, your, sorry, the line this is the equation of a line. This is passing through negative 4. So on the y-axis. So this is your negative 4. So your graph will pass through negative 4. We will confirm this in a different way. So the second thing that you need to write is the gradient. Gradient is defined as rise over run. Rise over run. The top number tells you the rise and the bottom number tells you the run. So that means this top number is telling you the rise. It can also be, it can, that means this is, this is, you have to go three up. Okay, so let me draw an arrow. I'll explain what this arrow means. This means you're going three to three up and two across. So this arrow tells me you have to go two across. So what does that mean? So, okay, by the way, in some books, the same thing can also be written as y is equal to 3x over 2. This and this are one and the same. In some books, if you have an equation like this, the top number is the rise and the bottom number is run. And this is your starting point. So I'll say this is your starting point. So always when you're drawing the equation, drawing a line, you always start with the y-intercept. That means where is your graph, your line cutting the y-axis? That's at negative 4. Okay, and then you have to just count. You have to go 3 up. You go 1, 2, 3, 2 across. If you just know how to count squares, you can plot the points. Okay, so I'll say it again. From negative 4, you're going 3 up. 1, 2, 3. You're going 3 up and 2 across. Uh, okay, one, two, three up and two across. From this, if you want to plot the next point, you go three up, one, two, three up, and two across. Okay, let's plot one more point. You go three up, one, two, three, and two across. Just so in the in my previous video, I sh explained how you can plot the points from the equation and then draw the line. Here, we are directly plotting the line without the x, y, and coordinate, and then you can draw a line. Okay, so this is my line tool. So join these points, so it's a straight line. Okay, so this equation, the equation of this line is y is equal to, you can write this or this, I'll write this in this form so that you know they are one and the same. So this is 3x over 2 minus 4. So let me explain this for those who are struggling to understand this way. Now, just to confirm, what's the coordinate? So let me write the coordinate. The coordinate, so let me write a neat coordinate. So this is 4, 2. So let's confirm whether this line is right. So what are we saying? When x is 4, y is 2. Okay, we're just confirming one point. Okay, so the equation was y is equal to 3 over 2. Can I write that as 1.5x minus 4? This and this are again the same. 
3 over 2 is 1.5x minus 4. So what are we saying? When x is 4, y should be 2. So let's put x is equal to 4 in this equation. Let's put x is equal to 4 in this equation. So y is equal to 1.5 times 4 minus 2. So let's do without a calculator. What is 1.5 times 4? So this 1 times 4 is 4 and half times 4 is 2. So 1.5 times 4 is 6 minus 6 minus 4, not 2, yeah? So I made a mistake here. Okay, this should be 4. So this is 6 minus 4, that is 2. So when x is 4, x is 4, your y is 2 and the point is right. Okay, so this is confirmed. So let's take, let's take one more point, or let's take this point. When, two, when x is 2, y is negative 1. So let's use the same equation. When x is 2, okay, so let's do it again the same. We're just confirming whether the points are right. We're going backwards. So when x is 2, let's confirm whether that is one, negative 1. So y is equal to 1.5 times 2, take away 4. What is half 1.5 1, 1 times 2? That is well, 3. That is 3, take away 4, which is negative 1. Okay, so when x is 4, when x is 2, sorry, y is negative 1. So this is a smart way of graphing. Okay, so let me write one more equation. What if, you can pause this video, those who have understood, you can do this yourself y is equal to negative 3 over 2x, c uh, plus i. Okay, so let's go through the process. First thing is to write the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the number which doesn't have x. That's a simple way of learning or remembering. y-intercept is this phi. So this is your starting point. I'll write sp for starting point. That means you start at phi. So this is your starting point. Your gradient, your gradient is negative 3 over 2, which is, this is your top number tells you rise and the bottom number tells you run. Now this negative, so let me go back. If plus 3 is going up, for minus 3, what would you do? Well, for plus 3, it was going up. For minus 3, you had to go down. You have to go 3 down, and you have to go far 2 across. So this is your first point. You go 3 down. 1, 2. You just count the squares properly. 1, 2, 3 down, and 2 across. 1, 2. Just counting. And the, they should be on the straight line. 1, 2, 3, 2 down, 2 across. Okay, and if you don't know how to count, you will find when you join the points, it will not be a straight line. One, two, three, and two across. And let's join the points. The points has to be joined. Okay, this will be a, this should be a straight line. So, and there we go. So this is a straight line. So the equation of this line is y is equal to negative three over two x. Mine plus 5. So let's confirm. So let's take it again a need point just to confirm. So this point is 2 comma 2. So what is this graph telling me when x is 2, y is 2? So let me write this equation. How will you write this as a decimal form? So this, well, I can say this is minus 3 over 2 is minus 1.5x plus 5. Okay. So what are we seeing? When x is 2, what is y? So let's put this in this equation. So y is equal to negative 1.5 times 2 plus 5. Those who are struggling with this, you can use a calculator. Negative 1.5 times 2 would give you negative 3. So let me show this on a calculator. So negative 1.5 times 2 is negative 3 plus 5. 
the negative 3 plus 4 is 2. So when x is 2, y is 2. So this point is right. Okay, let's move on. Okay, you can confirm the other points. Okay, so what is this point? How would you, how would you write the coordinate of this point? When x is 0, y is 5. Okay, so when x is 0, what is going to be 0? This whole thing is going to be 0. And that's why you find when x is 0, this whole thing is going to be 0, and 0 plus 5 is 5. Okay, let's move on. How would you do y is equal to 2x plus 3? Again, the same process. Your y intercept, I'll write y intercept is plus 3. So this is your starting point. So you start at 3, you start at 3. Now, this 2 can be written as 2 over 1. This is, this is 2 over 1. So your gradient, I'll write only grad, gradient is 2 over 1. That means you're going 2 up. It's positive means you're going up. And the bottom number is generally always going to the right because it's always going to be positive. If it's negative, of course, some can be some can have a negative. It's very rare. You can that's going to the left. So you start at three, which is your y-intercept, and then you're going two up and one across. You go two up and one across. Okay, so this point. Okay, I can't go two up and one across, but if you want to go. If you want to go backwards, here you're going two up and one across. And if you want to go backwards, you can go two down and one across to the left. So this will be the next point. You can also go backwards in opposite. Here you're going one up, sorry, two up and one across. You can go two down and one across like this to the left. You can go two down and one across. You can also go backwards like this. Two down, one across. So if you think in a, if you go from here, I, can you understand this is going two up and one across, two up, one across, two up, one across, and so on. You can go two down, one across, and I think these points are enough. And then you draw a line, join these points, and lo and behold, there will be points on a straight line. Okay, so let's confirm whether y is equal to 2x plus 3. So let's take any any random point. Let's take, say, this point. What is this point? How do you write the coordinate of this point? Well, when x is 1, y is 5. That's what this point is telling me. So when x is 1, what would be y? y? Y will be 2 times 1 plus 3. So first using bed mass, which is 2 plus 3 which is 5. Okay, so let me do one more example. Okay, so what if y is equal to y is equal to 4x minus 5. Okay, again the same process. Y is equal, your y intercept. Your y intercept which is also, I call it the starting point. This is where you start. You're starting at your y-intercept, which is negative 5. Or you think like this, when x is 0, what's going to be y? And that's your y-intercept. So y-intercept is negative 5. Okay, to this point, I hope you know, the coordinate is 0, comma, negative 5. Okay, so if you just put 0 here, can you see this is going to be 0, and 0 minus 5 is negative 5. And then you go to the gradient. The next thing is you find your gradient. Okay, now gradient has to have two numbers. So this is the top number, and you've got a bottom number, which is invisible. That's 1. That is 4 over 1. So this 4 tells me you're going 4 up. You're going 4 up and one across. You're going one across. So let me plot the point. So this is starting at negative five. You go four up. One, two, three, four, one across. 
this is the next point. Again, you go from this point, you go four up, one, two, three, four, and one across. Can I go four up? Yes, one, two, no, I can't go four up, I can only go three. I think this is enough, and three points is enough to draw a line. Okay, in fact, two points is enough, but only to confirm, two points will always be on the straight line. So that's why three points, when you're drawing a line, you have to have at least three points. Okay, so let me do it properly. So the equation of this line is y is equal to 4x minus 5. So let's confirm whether the points are right. Let's take this point. So what is this point? When x is 3, when, sorry, when x is 2, y is 3. When x is 2, y is equal to 3. So let's put x is equal to 2 in the equation. So y is equal to 4, because the equation is 4 times x, so 4 times 2 minus 5. So y is 8 minus, 8 minus 5, which is 3. So this point is right. You can confirm the other points. Now I'm going to write a few questions. I want you to do this yourself. So this is for practice. You need to practice the skill. The more you practice, the more you understand. You can use the same grid to draw all the graph, all the lines. So y is equal to, say, 3 over 4x minus 2. The same thing can also be written like this. 3x over 4 minus 2 is this and this are the same. The second equation is y is equal to negative 1 over 2x plus, say, 3. The third equation is y is equal to minus 2 fifth, uh, minus 2 fifth x uh, plus 6. Okay. And the final equation is y is equal to 3x minus 2.